Hello, um, this is Antonio Pizano, episode number six, layering convention. We will be using layering as logical switches that can turn on and off entire parts of the component. In SketchUp Pro template, it, all the layers will be already there for you to use. With an initial number, discipline code, and then they have a specific component code. So number one is imagine the biggest box within which a smaller boxes are created and a box is a group in for those of you already familiar with SketchUp. So in the in the, in the biggest box, survey information to context information, uh, building one information, building two or whatever building, how many building you have in your project, and then briefing notes. As you can see, level two disciplines are uh, uh, any for animation, for architecture, for landscape design, for electrical design, for mechanical, for structural. Um, and if you needed more, you could come up with another one. If you want just to uh, verify the clashes between structure and architecture, for instance, you can turn off all the two uh, uh, A N I uh, and the two L A N A and the two E L E and so on and so forth, and then just check clashes for structure. So we have doors, floors, furniture, rooms, stairs, so on and so forth. So I have D O double O for the doors, F L O for the floor, and so on and so forth. So in this way, it's really simple to turn on and off various components and then save scenes in SketchUp Pro so that you can then find your scenes in layout and start producing your, your information. At number three, we also have another logical operator, which is external or internal. So sometimes um, you might want to um, classify between external uh, geometry and internal geometry. So let's say the cladding of, of an office tower and the interior uh, floor plate fit out for the same project. So at number three in this our, in our sequence of logical operators, we have the boxes for the groups for external and internal. So that by switching off internal, I can just work with the cladding, for instance. It is quite handy when you need to share your model with other people, so that each of our models, or you know, if you're working on the interiors, your entire model is a component, and then you can just update the component in your colleague's model so that um, he or she can update the reference for her, let's say, external cladding component. Uh, and number four, uh, we have uh, logical operators for time. So we have um, demolition, existing or new. So let's say that we're building a little uh, model for a, for a house, so we have we use in number one box to explain to uh, uh, map the geometry uh, under uh, one underscore building uh, component. Then we use two underscore arc underscore wall to uh, highlight uh, the fact that we're talking about walls. And then we have some walls are external, so we use three external or three internal. And then let's say that we have a small alteration internally. We knock down one wall and we build a wall in a different way. Then we'll be using the number four um, hierarchy and uh, there will be some architecture, some geometry uh, built into uh, existing layers or for exe, and some will be under demolition and some will be new. Now, the way we're going to use this is by creating different scenes. And let's say on the um, uh, existing conditions, we'll be turning on existing and demolition, so the way the building was at the beginning of the project. And then in the next project will be the proposed plan, we will be turning off the demolition, so demolition is no longer visible, and we'll keep on the existing and the new. So in, in this way, in a very simple way, we have both a plan for the existing building and a plan for the proposed building. Um, at five level, we have a a number of special logical um, uh, operators. Um, we have a layer called off, which is really more like a work in process progress layer where we can keep stuff that we know is going to be turned off uh, in our drawings. We have a, a 5.2D, which is used for geometry that we only want represented in 2D, be it in plan or in elevation and this 2D information might be the typical example is the sign of a door uh, swing on uh, on plan. So depending on the plan of the uh, information we're producing we will be turning on the 2D or we'll be turning on the 3D um, toggle uh, at number at, lay, at level five. Sometimes we have uh, components that, that can be open or closed. This is the case for bespoke furniture. So again, we can uh, classify some geometry as open or closed, depending uh, of which drawing um, we are producing. And then in number five, we can continue depending on what kind of model we're producing. So if you have 
a, a complex, uh, let's say, a complex geometry plan that needs a lot of 2D information in order to be modeled, you might import your CAD uh, plans or your uh, 2D plans and classify those drawings under uh, 1F, 2F, 3F, so depending on first floor, second floor, third floor. So number five is a bit of a jolly uh, section where you can adapt um, the, the, the logical structure, uh, how is kind of best for you. And number six, um, we actually start to deal with technical design. So in a way, our S2 model in Masamawa coding gets all the way to, let's say, um, number five in our boxes, in our grouping um, uh, structure. Number six is only ever used for stage three, for uh, what is the equivalent of RIBA uh, stage four, um, and then five uh, on site. So uh, in, in this model, um, we would be having not only a wall, but we will be, ever, we'll be having a 3D um, model for each component of such wall. Masonry, we would have render, we would have tiles, so on and so forth. The way the uh, layering um, works for the number six is that we have number six as the, the, the level of the, of the uh, grouping, then we have STR for structural components and FIN for finishes components, and then, with it, and then after uh, this STR or FIN code, we have another uh, three, word, three letters code to uh, remind us of the material we are working with. So CON is concrete, EIM is timber, SCE is steel, quite, quite intuitive, plasterboard, masonry, aluminium, um, tiles, uh, glass, so on and so forth. So in this way, even when you are at the minute scale of the technical design, you can highlight very easily uh, what material you're working with. And of course, you can turn off materials that you are not particularly interested in that uh, moment. So by turning off and turning on uh, layers, how uh, best and how more most ne you know, useful necessary in that specific drawing, you can then save scenes with different styles um, and uh, have a single model providing you with all sorts of information from generic arrangement plans to 1 to 20 sections to 1 to 5 uh, 3D details. is always the same model and all the magic is in the layering structure. Uh, so, uh, maybe this was quite a bit to, to digest. Uh, but I think what's going to be really handy uh, later, uh, as I will be creating a tutorial uh, to explain all of this, uh, you'll be able to uh, follow um, the, the, the workflow uh, and hopefully um, learn to do it yourself and then using this fantastic and, and really light touch BIM uh, technique to develop your own project or to learn the way we work and hopefully uh, do an interview with us and then come and join the team. So. Thank you for your attention and uh, speak soon for the, uh, I think, the last episode. Thank you.